We've been invited here today, a very important moment in their lives. And in their time as they've been together, the love and understanding for each other has grown and matured. And now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Kayla, my first attempt at writing these didn't completely go as I had hoped, but I'm thankful that I got a second chance. I'm usually good with my words, but I'm having a hard time fully expressing just how much you mean to me. Not because I don't have things to say, because it's easy to say things like, I love you and you're everything to me. It's easy to find words that I will tell you every day for the rest of our lives. But it's so hard for me to completely express the, with words alone how you make me feel and the place you will forever hold in my heart. I can't believe this day is finally here. It's hard to believe in 2018 I walked into a job where I didn't know a soul and would have met the person uh, that I would spend the rest of my life with. The only explanation for what I did for someone like you to love me is prayer. I prayed for you before I even knew you existed and I believe we were praying for each other at the same time without even knowing it. You came into my life when I needed you even if I didn't know it at the time. You make me a better person. You give me a sense of peace that I have never known. You call me like nobody else can and you show me a love that is the closest love to Jesus that I will ever know on this earth. I'm so thankful that I have you to lead our home and be my partner in this life. Kayla, you are a breath of fresh air to my life, the warm touch to my day, and a feeling of home no matter where I go. You're the new meaning of forever and the hope to the future I've always dreamed of. I want to thank you for everything you do for me each and every day. You love me no matter the mistakes that I make. You support me even when I feel like I'm not good enough. You help me when times are tough, and even when you're stretched thin, you find time to put us first. I promise not to be perfect, but to always attempt to be, to protect you, to love you until my last breath buy you flowers more often, to share my dessert with you, to get your Christmas decorations out at the end of October, to always laugh when you mess up the lyrics singing in the car, to help you cheer on the volunteers on Saturdays, to be the husband you deserve and one day be the father you always wanted for your children. I'm sure that I've forgotten a few things along the way, but I'll never forget just how much you mean to me. I hope this time I did you justice and I hope you always know just how much I love you. Your soon to be husband, Tanner. I vow to keep God first in our home and in our lives. I promise to always be honest with you. I promise to love you as selflessly as you love me. I promise to always be your best friend. I promise to be your 90 when you can only give 10. No matter what life throws at us, I promise to be by your side. I promise to stand by your side, support you, encourage you, and love you until my last breath on this earth. I'm thankful for your faith in Jesus and restoring mine. I'm so thankful to be your wife and I vow to make sure you know that every single day. I love you more than any amount of words can say. Father, we come to you this afternoon. Just thank you for this day. This is a day in which you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for their families, friends, but most importantly, thank you for you. Thank you for marriage. Thank you for love.
Tanner, do you take Kayla for your lawful wedded wife to live in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and cherish her from this day forward, forsaking all others, keeping only under her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Kayla, do you take Tanner to be your lawful wedded husband, to live in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and cherish him from this day forward, forsaking all others and keeping only unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Hi, Tanner. Take Kayla. Take Kayla. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. Honor. Honor. Cherish. And cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. Wear it as a symbol. Wear it as a symbol. Of our love and commitment. Of our love and commitment. You may kiss the bride. Woo! Woo! Mr. and Mrs. Tanner Withrow. You know, I'm so happy to be a part of your special day today. It's been lovely. I'm so excited for you all. And, you know, the first time Tanner talked to me about you, you know, how much, like, you could tell from the get-go, like, he, how much he cared about you. And I'm so happy that you love him, you take care of him, and I know Tanner will do that. So, congratulations. finally made it to the day that I think Kayla has been planning since she has been a little girl. Through all the obstacles, living thousands of miles away from each other. Y'all grew, and even on top of that, working crazy hours at the hospital. Y'all grew so close, and you grew so much stronger as a couple. And your love will forever keep growing that much, forever. I couldn't be happier for the man you chose, Kayla. I really couldn't. Tanner and Kayla, I can't wait to watch your marriage grow and eventually give me little nieces and nephews to spoil. I love you all more than you know. If you'll raise your glass with me for a toast to Kayla and Tanner, the new Mr. and Mrs. Withrow, I love you all. So Tanner and I met about two, two and a half years ago working in an ICU together. It only took a couple of times talking together before I knew we were gonna be best buddies. It took us about two conversations to realize how alike we were, and here we are now like we've known each other forever. So when Tanner has a problem, he comes to me, I give him the best advice I can, just like a friend would do, you know. And I knew Tanner was a lifelong friend when I confided in him for the first few times. When I go to Tanner for advice, it's normally the same thing. And he tells me just pray about it. He encourages me to put my faith where it should go, it's Jesus. I couldn't be more grateful to have been chosen to have this role today. I love you both and I'm super happy for you both. Thank you. Everyone that's here means something. Them. Thank you. But more importantly for me, raising two daughters, I'm so blessed to have two good girls. I love that woman more than anything. But when Kayla met Tanner, I knew that Tanner was the one for Kayla just from how she talked about him. So I'm so happy you two have found each other and I'm so happy for your future together and I'm excited to see it. So congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Withrow. Woo!